This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off free shipping and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. The best Luca Parrots and you are listening to Vacation in the Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. I'm here for Peter. Well then, little Hellfire, you're in luck. We have plenty this week. Welcome back to the Ultimate <laughs> Spider Cast. Uh, I stand by what I said. I am Phil. Joining me as always, that Peter lover herself. Hey, y'all, it's Little Hellfire. Also, I'm here for Miles. I know. Especially since history. As long as it's not Ben Riley, you know, you know. I don't like it when Otto's in Peter's body either, okay? Phrasing! <laughs> now you know why he goes, does this under an assumed name. I mean, unless it's a fanfic, then I'm here for it. Anyway. Alright, so. Got a lot to discuss today. So. We even have feedback from Ray too, so nice. Poor, poor Ray, just getting dragged down the Marvel tunnel. <laughs> he loves the Marvel tunnel. I, he told me to send him the list. So I'd send him the list. Hey, oh, speaking of Ray, big announcement! Next episode and every last week of the of every month going forward, I think Ray's going to be joining me. It's going to be a group effort. Like this uh, next episode is going to be me, Ray, Tyler, and perhaps Matt Kona talking uh, Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider. I love Ben Riley. Oh, the traitor group. It's fine. Oh, it's going to be a sausage fest, little hellfire. <laughs> it's My fun to have a sausage fest. Because Lil doesn't like Ben Riley anymore. Clone Wars, man. <laughs> okay, Star Wars. Anyway, uh, so. <laughs> What do you want to start with? Uh, Spider-Man 2 or the newer issues? Uh, let's just do Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man. Do these five little issues. Now, the funny thing about this is that I got the trade and then I went back about all the individual issues. I was just like, eh, it's Bendis. Of course I'm going to wait for the trade. <laughs> Bendis, Bendis, Bendis. Yes. Well, this one's this one's a little, like... The tone's a little different because now Miles is part of the 616. Yeah, and we just kind of gloss over it. It's fine. It happened. What? <laughs> it's a thing that happened. Don't worry about it. Well, I told you after Secret Wars, yeah, he just, you know, him and his whole family and gank and everyone just shows up and it's just like, yeah, we're just, yeah, just go with it. <laughs> sure, why not? It's a comic book. Roll with it. And I love issue one. I mean, yeah, because this is what, 2017, so. Yeah. Not that long ago. I kind of just like how we just open up and they're just in trouble already. And I'm like, classic Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, they're like t- they're like tied together upside down over like a, a, in a, an airport. Uh, Fire and brimstone. I know. It's like, <laughs> it, we, we like jump in the middle of like a buddy cop comedy. Peter's too old for this crap. <laughs> and Mal's- you have some nerve. <laughs> That's right. Mouse. I was like, wait a minute, this is giving me a uh, Bad Boys any iteration freaking movie vibes right now. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Gefelt a fish. Gefelt a fish. <laughs> so Miles has to Venom Blast them free. Yeah, still not a fan of the name of that, but we'll just move on. Yeah, I know. So they get free, but then the plane they're chasing gets away. Because you're chasing a plane. Of course it's going to get away. It's a plane. <laughs> exactly. And it's like... Peter's giving Miles crap. You have no business being Spider-Man. And <gasps> What's going on? But of course it's been this, so we're going to... He's looking a little old and uh, worn for wear, though, isn't he, in this issue? Is Who? it just me? Who, Miles? Trying to make like a thing about it? Peter. Oh, Peter. Like, you know, he, like, blast him free. He's like, he doesn't quite stick the superhero landing. He's a little bit slower. It's like, 
I don't know if we actually have to do this. Well, you take a Venom Blast at point like, blank range and see how quick you are <laughs> to get up. Just say, I, I don't know. It's just like the little subtle like shades in this issue, in the issues that I see. It's like, obviously, favoritism is all that I'm saying. And, you know, you created Miles, and I love Miles, but at the same time, I'm here for Peter. <laughs> As the I'm intro states. So, yes, yeah, so we have to, uh, so, we, of course, we flash back a week ago to, uh, Oh, hey, the whole Brooklyn Visions One Academy. week earlier! <laughs> the whole Brooklyn Visions Academy made it to 616, the Earth 616. I think that whole little neighborhood that, that just sucked into the pocket, I think. Just, this is all we need. Goodbye. <laughs> There's a couple blocks of Hell's Kitchen we weren't using. Boom! <laughs> Franklin! Oh, I need a Charlie Esther job of him just going, Franklin! I know. Go to your room! Uh so, of course, Miles is coming in late because that's a Spider-Man trademark. Of course. Mm-hmm. And a Flash trademark as well. Saving the day, but you're always late. Well, the Spider-Men are actually, like, actually late. The You know, like, Flash, a lot of times it's like, oh, I have to pretend to be late so no one suspects I'm the Flash. No, you're just a jack bottom, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I, I kind of like this art a little bit more than I liked in the um the original one. It's the same artist. I don't know. I feel like a different vibe. Is it, I was going to say, I forgot to look, but is it like a different uh, colorist and inker and stuff, maybe? Could be. Could be. It, it, I don't know. You, you can feel the motion a little bit better in this, this one, mm-hmm. I guess. Oh, well, all I see is artist and color artist, and maybe, she, maybe Sarah did her own inks but yeah justin ponzer is the color artist like i said it's great i just i noticed that the motion pops a little bit more um yeah but, and like there's like a lot less dialogue bubbles actually <laughs> believe it or not ben is toning himself down but maybe the art looks a little different because like the first mini series they were trying to like you know i think visually they were trying to show the difference between yeah. 616 and 1610 yeah this monster over here looking like a mud man and rhino had a baby. The, like. the armadillo. Lilith, you don't recognize an armadillo? I, I know my arch nemesis, the armadillo. <laughs> I was like, I feel personally attacked right now. <laughs> Why is Peter saying it's a costume? I don't think it's a costume. He was mute, He was mutated. Yeah, Antonio Rodriguez. Because, oh, yeah. you know, don't forget, Miles is half... Latino. So he gets a Latino villain. Oh, the Armadillo's been around for years. I know, I'm just saying. Yeah, it's all made Ben just think about it. <laughs> but you also get, uh, like, Fabio Medina. It's just like, okay, you know a few Spanish names. Good for you. <laughs> oh, isn't that gold? Isn't that gold balls? Yeah. From Ben. Exactly. It's just like, I'm sensing a theme. Yeah, but for... Fa- yeah, but Fabio was from uh, Bendis' X-Men run. Uh, that's the one we don't talk about, and you damn well know it. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying, Bendis playing with his own toys. Crazy. Well, like I said, they do, um, I really feel like they do, like, um, get, like, a shekel every time they, like, bring in their character into, like, one of those books. I, I honestly think that's a thing, because I know in a writer's room it's a thing. Yeah. Like, and on TV, so. I mean, hey, look, we get another glowing, uh, glowy thing like the first miniseries pretty but dangerous <laughs> just like i like them oh <laughs> um, yes i'm sure <laughs> but uh oh no is this where miles first meets barbara is that who he's like yeah kinda? barbara rodriguez yeah right? pink hat chick i was like did i was like did bendis make his own meg <laughs> I was gonna Anytime say. Anytime I see a girl with a pink hat, that's what I think about. Okay, I was gonna say, are you making fun of a girl, girls in uh, hats, Lil Hellfire? I love hats. I was gonna say. I, love let, hats. I was gonna say, let's let she who wear, let she who does not wear the hat throw the first stone. No, no, I just anytime I see a pink hat, I'm just like, shut up, mate. <laughs> so. Oh my god! Can you imagine if he called if he named her Meg? <laughs> um. They did a volcano project. I was like, aren't you supposed to be, like, super smart in advance? I did a volcano project in, like, preschool. What the hell? I know. I was going to say, isn't that, like, elementary school? Yeah. I guess I guess Marvel Prime Universe, everybody's a little slower 
It's fine. It's re- it's real magma. It burned the teacher. <laughs> Molten hot lava. <laughs> Then Barbara's going on about, oh, you're so mysterious. You're always running off. People think you're either a narc or a, or a drug dealer. Racist. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. And then a giant robot head falls out of the sky. As you do. It's Marvel. Yep. And Mal sees the, the, the glowing pillar and takes off after it and hooks up with Peter. Oh! Uh-huh. And make a phone call. No worries. I'm not mysterious. I have your little bowel syndrome. <laughs> you don't have a doctor's note. I don't believe you. As someone who works in HR, that's actually a quite popular thing with uh, people over 30 now. Yeah. It's like, I, I don't need your self diagnosis from WebMD. I'm going to need a real doctor's note. Thanks. Yeah. And of course, the, the glowing light brings them to a uh, warehouse, of course, cause it's just like last time. Oh! You don't say! Is this how the first series started? Peter, you mean, do I remember that this crazy rundown warehouse used to house a small dimensional rift into another version of Earth, so one of my all-time worst enemies, Mysterio, found it and used it to sneak in and out of your dimension, when you used to live in another dimension instead of living in my dimension, which is, yes, not my dimension, but all of our dimensions. But now that we both and live in the same dimension... that's how you do exposition! Hold on, I'm, hold on, I'm not done with Bendis' word bubble. <laughs> And we're both Spider-Man, and I'm totally that okay with that. That is the biggest word bubble I have ever seen. Well, that, that I mean... In a non bendis book. <laughs> I know. Uh. Like, look at it! Just look at it! You know what? Just just look at it. Well, I think the one in the... in the la- what Was it the last issue? It was either four or five of the first series. was was pretty... It took out most of the page, but yeah, that's pretty big. I mean, for such a little square, like, I think that was a little shade on Sarah's part. She's like, I'm just going to put it in this little box, and maybe he'll notice! So they go into the where the same warehouse, and uh, a figure comes out, and it's they come face-to-face with Skeletor. I mean, Taskmaster. Yeah, I was just like, this isn't a Deadpool issue. What the hell, man? I mean, he's in mostly purple... I mean, that skull's looking extra skeletory. That sword's badass, though, dude. I, I was going to say, and he's pulling a sword. I, uh, yeah. That is skeletor. I, I hear you, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, pal. I, I, well, I was going to say, yeah, Marvel owns He Man, right? It's fine. Do they? Do they still? I don't know. They used to once upon a time. Who's publishing Masters of the U- Multiverse or whatever? Oh, that's actually DC over there now. Yeah. Oh. Well, this is 2017. <gasps> That's a very recent thing. Oh, no, actually, they did the reboot for 2000. And, mm, somebody might have to sue somebody. I so, don't know. So for, yeah, but, well, well, maybe they did and they got Bendis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, they lost that trade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we won't sue you. I can't because I love. I can't <laughs> we won't send. We won't sue you. Just send us over Bendis. Give us the Bendis. Okay. Oh my lord! Can you take McFarlane with you too? <laughs> oh my lord! And Rob Liefeld, have him while you're at it. Just, just take all our problem children. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so then the first issue uh, ends with uh, we see Scarface. I mean, <gasps> the original version of Miles Morales from Six One Six. So now there's how is the universe not collapsing? So now there's two Mileses in the Six One Six. Now there's two of them. This is getting out of hand. In my clone, look, listen. In my clone wars, trigger. Hmm? Just no, it's not what anybody needs. No clones, no doubles, no nothing. Marvel, you wore me out. So then, issue two opens with both Spider-Man mouthing off the Taskmaster because Bendis. <laughs> Where's Deadpool when you need him? Hey, hey, sword down, fifth place at the crappy Doctor Doom cosplay contest. And when I say sword, Ouch. and when I say sword down, I mean Ouch. on the ground and not in me or him. Be cool. I'll do the talking. And as Taskmaster like punches them out the window. I guess. So many thwips. <laughs> thwip, thwip. So- uh, gu- guggle, really? We're not, gonna, we're not gonna talk about it. We're just gonna glance. Okay, we're just gonna glance over it. It's Wait, fine. What's that, Google? Google. 
I love that. I love the shot of them falling out of the window and they're still arguing. Yes. <laughs> so many flips. Yes. This is this is a drinking game. If you read this issue, take a drink every time you see a thwip. Is, ben, is Bendis getting like paid for extra thwips or something? <laughs> I don't know. And when I, in doubt, add a thwip. I guess is the motto. Uh, He's like, and you go back to class. I'm just like, okay, this this is getting ridiculous. Yeah. So Peter goes back in the warehouse. Taskmaster's gone, and he's like thinking of Miles as the kid, and he's like, the kid. I'm three years older than him. Sure. I know they aged Miles up, but it's kind of. Like, he goes kind of. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, we're not going to talk about this, are we? So if Peter's <laughs> three years older than Miles, does it? Are we talking like what? What do they get? I mean, I know they don't like. They like to keep Peter young, but is it like eight? What eighteen and twenty one? Or how old is Miles now? Do we know? Well, in this issue, isn't he like fourteen? I don't know. Like, or, I feel like they aged him up once he came, and it was like. He's in high school at the beginning, so I always think like fourteen or fifteen, kind of similar to like Peter. Maybe, maybe. So, 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 so Peter, I don't know. They, they they get loose and fast with it. So Peter's exaggerating about the three years. The he's a Bendis exaggerating. Or, or, you know, it's the Bend. You know, Bendis wrote it. You know, the things time moves differently in Marvel. Okay. <laughs> I know. Uh, so we see Taskmaster packing up his. Is that a Bronco? <laughs> like an old Yukon or something like that. Okay, so he's packing it. A- One of those Chevy Blazers or something, but... Yeah, he's packing up his SUV. And he's got a call from Detroit coming through and I'm like, you are pure Eve. The Justice League. What? Leave poor Detroit alone. <laughs> They've done enough. And then, uh... No, it did not go according to plan. You tell Miles Morales, so... <gasps> the other Miles Morales sent him. <laughs> and our Miles Yikes. says, what did you say? That name. How do you know that name? That was a... <laughs> That was a private conversation. A little eavesdropper. So, yeah, we get Miles coming at Taskmaster, spouting Bendis dialogue. Answer me. Tell me. What? 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 Uh, he's so casual. No, just in a fight. <laughs> and he tries to Venom Blast Taskmaster, but he says, my suit's rigged for chumps like you. <laughs> and there's some glowing throwing stars, but he gets away. He's like, his mouse, his suit was rigged. Maybe he rigged his and blows up the SUV. <laughs> so many ninja stars. Mouse gets thrown into the dumpster. Peter goes through the wall. And when he picks himself up, he goes, wheat cakes. <laughs> oh, that'd be something. If, you know, every time he gets knocked on. My his, ears are ringing. If he gets knocked out. Every time he gets knocked <laughs> on his butt, if he, if he went, oh, right on the wheat cakes. <laughs> That's where they go, you know. And Miles is like, he said my name. He said my- uh, this is like an odd thing that he says, though. He's like, hey, so no one has to know I webbed you in the face. And I'm just like, crazy? <laughs> oh, oh, Bendis. <laughs> he said my real name? But I feel you, Miles. I know. I know. I hate when people do that. <laughs> That's right, people. Send in your best guesses of the real name of Little Hellfire. And if anybody says Karen, you're getting blocked! That's right. That's her real name. <gasps> Anytime you give me a lip, I'm going to be like, shut up, Karen. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Uh... And Peter's like, are you sure? Because Morales is a very popular name. He's like, name. More, more, yeah, Morales is a very popular name. And you, you know what I mean. And Peter's He's like, like, I actually searched your name once online. And I found nothing. I'm like, what is this, Supergirl? And I guess they There's don't There's gotta have, be a Miles Morales somewhere. And I guess they don't have Google. They have Starkle. <laughs> he says, Starkle yourself. I guess, I guess Google is like Bing then. <laughs> Poor Bing. So they swing off and Peter says, They have to literally pay people to use Bing instead of Google. <laughs> uh, so they swing off. Peter says he'll tell Shield about the warehouse and yeah, Shield. And then we get again Mal's at in in the school courtyard at night. Here comes Barbara. Bum chicka wow. Okay, 
think she was looking for something. Well, he was looking Ooh. for something. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at them. They're very intently into each other. And I'm just like, um, where's Gwen? <laughs> oh, this doesn't feel right. Where's Gwen? <laughs> what, your credit score? And I was like, credit score dot. <laughs> and then and then Peter texts him and says, hey, what are you doing for lunch tomorrow? I have a surprise. Mm, I'm not liking Peter's tone, man. And it's just his initials, PP. Hey. <laughs> look, look, it's like, I know, it's like PP, really, dude? Really? Although I can't make fun it's of just, it. Is that your wife? And I was like, basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Although I can't make fun of the initials, PP, so. <laughs> yeah. So, of course. Hey, Miles, look at me, look at you, look at us! I'm just like, oh my god, how lame can you be, bro? So, yeah, so... <laughs> So then, what is that the next day? Yeah, Miles goes, meets Peter, and who do they go see? Because Bendis needs to get paid. I know. Jessica Jones. <laughs> Alias Investigations. And I'm like, wait a minute. JJ, does a JJ Abrams know about this? <laughs> All right. Uh, this is. Let me get JJ Abrams on the phone. <laughs> This this issue was cover dated October 2017. Was Bendis like, I need some Christmas money. <laughs> Damn straight. Throw it all, throw it all in. Miles Morales, Jessica Jones, all of it. Don't forget Fabio. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> he definitely was like, "Give me my shackles." Oh my lord. So. Uh, Wonder Woman. Really, really. So yeah. So just. I like how he's like, she's married to Luke Cage. She's down with black guys. Just so you know. Just so you know. <laughs> I was like, whoa! Oh, my lord. And then, uh, yeah, Mal says she's married to Luke Cage. And Peter, big deal. I could have married Luke Cage if I applied myself. <laughs> um. Okay, that's interesting. It makes his relationship a lot more believable now. Sweet, sweet Christmas. Sweet wheat cakes. So, yeah, so, yeah, Jessica said she uh, asked around. So we see a montage of her asking someone at a Dazzler concert. That ninjas on motorcycles. Then it turns Spider Woman. I guess beat the Jester. Then her getting punched by uh, her being punched by Red Fist. And is that the blob she's got in a headlock? I think so. Then there's Moon Girl and Double Dinosaur. Who's that? She's getting licked by. Is that the Viper? It looks like green hair. Is it? Oh, the dinosaur girl. That's you. What? <laughs> I, you you broke up a little bit. What'd you say, girl? The girl and the dinosaurs. I, I finally got around to it. Is that any good? <laughs> yeah, I finally got around to it. They're pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Because they don't seem to, like, uh, like advertise that a lot. I mean, it's not Squirrel Girl good, but it's good. Yeah. I, I never see them, like, advertise they... that. So, yeah. So, after the whole montage thing, yeah. Well, and now today, what? they were all caught up. Yeah. So... Jessica says she found nothing. When they flashed today, now we're actually all caught up. Yep, and the plane getting away again. After Jessica said she found nothing, Mal this Miles Morales is the only one and under shield the scrutiny. <laughs> and evil Miles Morales wants them dead. Dead. How rude. <laughs> oh my oh my lord, I heard the best. Look thing. at that cell phone. <laughs> Oh, I heard the or best. tablet. That's you a said, terrible tablet. You said how rude today. I heard the best thing today on uh, yeah. Batman Beyond. They were saying, what? you know, you know what they should do in Wandavision. You know how it looks like they're like in what? like old sitcoms and stuff. They said they should have you know the Scarlet Witch, Elizabeth Olsen, like in like a parody of Full House. <gasps> Full House. Her sisters would cut her off in a heartbeat. She can't have. <laughs> yeah, she's acting, but she ain't got billion dollar Olsen twin money. I'm just saying. You they, might have a little bit of Marvel money, but you ain't got that Mary Kate and Ashley money, homie. They they were like, have have Loki come in as Uncle Jesse. <laughs> <gasps> I never knew I wanted it. I need it. <laughs> I mean, technically it was on ABC, so they probably could actually do that if they wanted. Oh yeah, if they wanted to, they definitely could. Everywhere you look, but they better use the freaking Carly What's Her Face song from the Fuller House theme cover. Yes, yeah. I watch Fuller House. Don't judge me. <sighs> Don't judge me. Anyway, so yes, issue three opens many years ago because it's a Bendis book, and we got to stretch this out. So, so much exposition. It hurts. 
We get we get when uh, Wilson Fisk, the kingpin, went to prison. Well, I guess. Wait a minute. Was he a wrestler? Maximum or security. Was he a wrestler? Because he because uh, uh they, he, he Wilson Fisk the Undertaker. If we all become wrestlers of a sort. <laughs> Wilson Fisk the Undertaker. <laughs> Because as we see, Wilson Fisk and Miles Mor- the old Miles Morales, are cellmates years ago. Yikes. What did he do to end up in that cell? <laughs> well, they, no, I think they the said The warden it. did not like him. No, 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 no they, 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 uh, didn't they say that was intentional because, uh, what is it, the one crime boss? Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, yeah. any other circumstance, nobody wants to be in a cell with them, <laughs> like, not at all. <laughs> you don't get the taunt, but... <gasps> Don't put him on. Don't put Kingpin on the top bunk, dude. <laughs> but then we see them talking. But then t- Kingpin gets attacked in the shower, and Miles comes helps him out. So Kingpin says, "Miles, I am forever in your debt." And then we see years later, and I guess Miles and Wilson Fisk are like own a restaurant together. Trey Chic. And Miles is like having dinner with this woman. And- they're talking about his scar and how'd you get those scars? Let me tell you, I got the scar. So they're having a good date, especially after Wilson comes over and says, uh, "You know, this man, this man saved my life. He got, he got those scars, saving my life. Try the dust." <laughs> See how the date's going. Who does this girl look like? She's like a cross between somebody and somebody. I can't put my finger on it. Blonde. Um, it's not Gwyneth Paltrow, is it? No. Um, not Sarah Michelle Gellar. No, definitely not her. Um, but that restaurant's pretty nice, man. I'm just saying, I kind of want to go have the duck there too now. Well, crime, crime does pay, I guess. Uh, in the Marvel Universe, it certainly does. Mm-hmm. Oh, my Lord. Did you... I don't Despite know. having all those vigilantes. Oh my it's Lord. weird. I don't know if you got the original copy or not, but there's, like, the page with all the ads on it. What's the top ad? Yeah. Invincible Iron Man, 593 by Brian Michael Bendis. God, have some freaking cooth, man! Cha-ching! Good grief, Charlie Brown. Damn, I want to ride on, uh, Bendis' private jet. I mean, with that Superman money that they threw at him, I bet you he does have a G5. Uh, then they show Miles and Kingpin doing gangsta stuff, and then uh, basically Miles talking about he's like, you know, Kingpin's like, you went out? He's like, yeah, but that's not fair to you. And Miles wants to disappear, and Kingpin says he's going to make that happen. So basically, we don't get Peter or uh, young Miles Morales in this at all. And I was okay with that. I actually kind of enjoyed this issue. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 like, I, like, I, like, I find him a very fascinating character that is underutilized. Who? King Which I think is probably why I, I like like Daredevil and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Daredevil, Daredevil's very good right now. I'm gonna try to jump back in. I'm I'm trying. Yeah, I mean it got it went it, it, it slowed down a little bit, but I mean it's back up. I think it's good, and he's gonna be putting the suit on in the next. What is it? In three more issues or something? I don't know. But Chip Zdarsky, come talk to me. I have questions. <laughs> yes, I I concur. Oh, that reminds me. Another announcement. Um, starting in March, we're gonna be talking a lot of uh, Ron Friends. Uh spider-man issues where he did the art uh i'm gonna be sitting down to talk to him soon so stay tuned in march april and i think it goes into may so when we talk those issues i'm gonna sit down with him soon and talk to him issue by issue and so i'll sprinkle those in when we talk the actual issues look at philip being a good editor that's right (laughs) slap it right on the end (laughs) Uh, i like issue four too though Yes, well, again, it, and it opens again with uh, Wilson Fisk and Miles, old Miles Morales. Oh, man, it's like uh, a little sad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Miles' girlfriend died, and uh, Wilson Fisk is telling about alternate realities, and you know. Hmm, I knew that barber chick we should have put a feather in our cap for. 
Mm. Oh, yeah, back to Brooklyn Visions Academy. They're actually trying to move the robot head, finally. I know. Barbara's like, Miles, you saved my life pushing me out of the way. And she's like, what are you? Mutant and human, and I'm like, you shut your dirty mouth! No, I freaking You don't out. mention that name around here. Uh, and he's like, it's complicated. Let me think about how to answer. Yeah, baby, it's complicated. I know, it's like classic super superhero line. He goes, well, it's not It's not really complicated. And I'm like, oh, God, oh, God, here come all the boxes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, CW, okay, CW, Flash, keep your mask on. I, I know. But then Miles goes swinging through the city and spots Taskmaster killing a bunch of guys on a roof. As you do. Mm-hmm. I like that backpack. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I was like, is that like a Captain America backpack or no? <laughs> I don't know. It just has a star on it. I don't know. Turns into the little shield. I actually have that backpack. Why am I making fun of that? <laughs> That's right. And so, so, yeah. Remember that thing with Taskmaster? I'm like, uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> we kind of forgot about that for an issue and a half there, didn't we? <laughs> but it's, it's, it, that's Ben just saying, hey, remember what we did two issues back? Yeah. Because I got lost and sidetracked. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, Taskmaster takes off in a chopper, Miles grabs onto the bottom and calls Peter, hey, now what did these guys do before the age of the cell phone? <laughs> He's like, hey. Yeah, what did what did we do? I don't even remember. I just remember a change in my pocket. <laughs> oh, yeah, paper. <laughs> so, Peter meets some once they land. Anything yet? He's like, I think Taskmaster's waiting for him. There's a big old coinky dink. A big old coinky dink, huh? I get it. When I first met you, I thought I was going insane. Oh, and the first time I was cloned. Even the words, first time I was cloned. Yeah. Stop mentioning things. I love Ben Riley. Oh, then don't listen next Traumatized. week. Traumatized! Then don't listen next week, Little Hellfire. Oh, I will listen just so we can have an extra download. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I told I told Kona if he can't make it that he should send in feedback just to uh, switch turn the tables on Ray because Ray's always sending feedback in the quantum zone. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you know Kona would even call it, would even do it with the accent. He'd be like, "Hi guys, it's <laughs> it's Matt <laughs> from the quantum zone." <laughs> oh god, that would be hilarious. Oh, we still said we we still want to do an episode of the quantum zone where we have. Uh, you know, we have Ray on with us, and Matt and Ray just like take each other's places. <laughs> they switch, a- they switch accents. And you everything. guys, you guys should do that for April Fools. Like I swear. Yes. I was thinking for April, like the week of April Fools, like everyone, well, the rest of you guys, because I'm on like every show. The rest of you guys should like switch shows. Lil, Lil, and Charlie on the quantum set with me. <laughs> No, no, I, I get super connectivity. Okay. Call, I, call it I actually did have that thought too. I was gonna be like, yeah, a little fun super connectivity. It's like, did you come from Marvel? Well, you came to the wrong show. Oh my lord! <laughs> to the Watchtower. Charlie would be over here. Charlie would be over here for an episode. You know who the best Spider-Man is? Oh, I'd have to do a superior Spider-Man just for Charlie. Yes, you would. <laughs> you would. We should do it. I'll have, to, I'll have to put this down on the paper or on the computer. Uh, so yeah, plane shows up. So they're, they're, I mean, this is a lot of talk, and I'm like, bro, bro, we just spent an issue with like not them. Well, <laughs> can we not do this? Well, they're waiting, and you know, it's like a bottle episode, but it's a damn like, book. It's like, bro, <laughs> but a plane lands. It's a thwipping. <laughs> plane lands. A woman comes out. Then the plane hangar blows up. Please step on board, sir. <laughs> and somehow Taskmaster knocks both Spider-Man off their feet by just plunging his sword into the ground. He is Skeletor, homie. I'm just saying, they might want to look into that. I know. They might want to get some shekels. <laughs> and then Taskmaster just like takes both their masks off. Rude! <laughs> I know. Oh my lord. So... Yeah, so then they show, you know, 
old Miles Morales says not to kill them. They get tied up, and this is how we're back at the beginning of issue one. Yeah. Uh, and then Taskmaster's on the plane with old Miles Morales, and he says, I found a different dimension. Is she there? Is my barber there? There is a barber, Sanchez, yes? I can take you to her. So that's how that is. Should be. He's like, but if you leave them, then like, my God, I don't care. That's right. I'm not obsessed with who they are. I'm not Wilson Fisk. Yeah. They're just a couple of nobodies. Hey, that kid looks just like me. Yeah. So then issue five opens up with a lot more talk with the Spider-Man. <laughs> As you do. I, Peter, Ma, you know, tell Miles, I shouldn't have said, you know, that you have no business being Spider-Man. <laughs> kind of doesn't, though, but he's a little bit, actually, honestly, he's more equipped, it just seems like. Yeah, I love how Miles tells Peter. His powers are a little OP, man, I'm just saying. Yeah. He's inexperienced, but his powers are OP, so, But Ma you know. Yeah, and then Miles tells Peter, Spider-Man is your pain. Oh, but let's talk about legacy, and it's just like, oh, but we're not really gonna have this conversation. That's fine. <laughs> it's not time yet. It's okay. But then Taskmaster comes back, just rubbing Lil Hellfire's face in it once again. Because uh, was that a bazooka? Oh no! Wait, you're glossing over the little the little thing he says. He's like, I'm a, I'm technically a fully functioning adult, and I feel the pressure. And I'm just like, wait, are you technically? <laughs> well, I think he means physically. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I don't know. I'm so confused. Well, he says, but like, if he was 15, then and he said three years older, that would would make him 18. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm like, dude, I was nowhere near an adult at 18. <laughs> so I'm like. Mm. You can't even buy cigarettes anymore in Florida when you're 18. I don't know if that's like a whole country thing, but yeah, you gotta be 21 to buy cigarettes here now. Yeah, I think they raised the age everywhere, I thought. Why, you're not smoking. I, I went in to buy a pack of cigarettes and I just looked and I was like, when the hell did this happen? That's how long I go, I bought a pack of cigarettes? Good for me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you're not smoking cigarettes, are you? Don't you worry about it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to beat your ass. <laughs> Look, man, I'm not drinking. What do you want from me? <laughs> Get addicted to something healthy like comics. I already have that. Well, isn't that enough addiction for you? My bank account would 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 seem to agree with you. <laughs> you need another addiction, huh. gentlemen. Uh, Florida <laughs> gentlemen. Ah, uh, robot parts. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Uh, phrasing it out of context. <laughs> Oh, he flipped them right in the face. Yeah. Did you hate that how in the world? <laughs> Somebody would be dead. That's all that I'm saying. I'm dead right now. You said that. Uh, so yeah. But no, it's just they just thought they were gonna get the coronavirus. Don't worry. It's no shenanigans going on here yet. I'll see nobody eat no bat. <laughs> bat wing soup. I'm like poor Luke. <laughs> What they named it after. So yes, they're fighting Taskmaster again. They knock him out the window like he knocked them out. Get it? Get it? <laughs> that uh. sword is kind of weird, though. Uh -huh. Like it just doesn't seem like I don't know functional, useful. <laughs> Where did he get that sword? At? What store did he get that at? Everything nineties. Pretty well. Taskmaster's a pretty '90s character, bro. Oh hell no, he was '80. I think didn't he come out in the '80s? I know, but like the redesign, yeah, all that purple. That yeah, purple was a color of the '90s. <laughs> so yeah, while well, Peter's fighting Taskmaster, Miles gets in Miles's face, old Miles's face, and he's just like, "My name is Miles Morales," and his old Miles goes through the portal. After Sir, I'm not coming back. <laughs> no matter what, there's nothing here for me. So, uh, let's not get into current issues of Miles Morales. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, okay. Taskmaster gets away. The warehouse is just rubble. But yes, we see because I think it was supposed to be gone. But yeah, old Miles wakes up in the Ultimate Universe. Yep. Which I guess with Miles gone. There's a young Peter back again. Oh, boy. Uh, so confusing. Trying to have your cake and eat it, too. Franklin. 
<laughs> oh my lord! So ultimate spider, ultimate Peter Parker, that goblin looking, uh, that Hulk looking goblin. Ugh, ben just get paid. <laughs> Where's my shekels? <laughs> Oh, Lord. So then you got the ultimate show up, and Mary Jane calls Peter. Hurry up, Gwen and May are waiting. Get this, she has a new boyfriend. He's like, Gwen has a new boyfriend? No, May does. Don't worry, she'll kill him like she always does. That's right. <laughs> also, I love that they said it's a James Bond ending. I was just like, aww. Dun, 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 dun. Also, the letter. It's kind of cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love you, Wilson. But the the issue ends with Miles and Gang talking, and you know, Gang basically telling him you got to keep being Spider Man. Yeah. But you know, you're doomed to you know history repeats itself there. Mm-hmm. That's messed up. So, what was better, the first series or the second series? Um. I actually kind of like this little twist. I like this one a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't all introduction and uh, weird, you know. Yeah. And plus, we didn't have to deal with the family drama of it all, so I like that too. I thought you were going to say Mysterio. We wouldn't have to deal with Mysterio. No, I, I don't mind Mysterio, like modern Mysterio. So people tend to, like, kind of make him a little cooler now than back in the day, so. Because he's chilling all now. I know, Joel and all like I wouldn't be surprised if they started drawing him like Joel. And all. But then I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Spider Man and the MCU is a complicated thing, man. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, let's see. What you got? What we what we talking? Well, I was gonna say before we get to the current stuff. Oh man. Uh Ray didn't send me audio feedback with it, just the email. <laughs> Oh, no uh, accent. I know. How you feeling, Lil? Just dropping a short bit of feedback about Spider-Man 2. Overall, I enjoyed it, though. To have the main story not really be about the Spider-Man was a little off-putting. Oh. The plot of Miles Morales and Kingpin was enjoyable, but I felt it would have been, I would have enjoyed it more if the series was called Scarface Morales. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, took it Bendis idea. I found Bendis's writing similar to Spider Man in that it was solid and didn't didn't fall too much into Bend Bendisisms. Only with the two Spideys, but but again, it's well suited. The voicings of the other Morales and Kingpin were great, and the prison scenes were a highlight for me. Overall, not as strong as the original. Ooh, but these two series, I definitely consider buying a complete collection if they ever do combine them together in trade or hardcover. A solid seven out of ten here. I'd give it seven and a half or eight out of ten for the original. Keep up the great work. Cheers, Ray. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Ray. <sighs> so he liked the original better. I think it's just because I, I've read the original Spider-Man one so much. Yeah. And I enjoy it, but like at the same time, I've read it so much. Like this one, I don't really revisit. Like I said, originally I waited for the trade, and then I went back and got all the single issues. So I was just like, Ooh. you know, because it's been it's gonna take a minute. Mm-hmm. So, but I actually liked it. Like I like that second Miles Morales thing, and like you just can't get away from it. Like it's just it's just kind of a thing. It's just like a, it's like that bittersweet melancholy thing. So yep. usually Bendis kind of doesn't go for that. You know what I mean? So I was kind of like surprised. Bendis, Bendis, Bendis. No, he's a very tidy guy at the end of the day, though. He he likes things after he's drug them out, tied up in a nice, neat little bow, and, and you never, you know, hear from them again. Exactly. <laughs> Rogos are. <laughs> <laughs> Leviathan, <laughs> you know. Uh, so you want to get to some current issues? Definitely. All right, we'll start with last week. Uh, well, since we're talking Miles, let's do Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 15. Oh, Oh my gosh, I it finally picked back up, and I'm happy. Like it was, it was kind of like you know lagging a little bit, but but it's just like I can't get excited with modern day comics because it's just like, well, it's issue fifteen, ten more issues, there's gonna be a big Reboot. quote unquote status quo change. So it's just like, no matter how good it gets, I, I, I know to get that invested now. Like it's it's kind of sad, but I'm enjoying it. Yep, and we see all these, you know, looks like Ultimate Goblin, but it's a bunch of them. Oh, my worst nightmare. <laughs> oh, no. 
please, please tell me ultimatum. Please tell me you didn't hook up with uh, the jackal. <laughs> oh, no, that's, you would think that's where that was headed. <laughs> oh no, wait, he's on Earth sixty five, being a big time creeper. Never mind. But we'll get there when that next one comes out. Uh, so yeah, it's, I mean, hey, we. <laughs> So what did you think about the whole thing about Mal's, you know, uh, what's his face at school? It seemed like he was going to out him as Spider-Man, but... I mean, we've done it before. Yeah. But the guy was actually, uh... He'll get amnesia. He'll be fine. He'll go to Switzerland. It'll be fine. Well, he seems like he's not going to say anything, because he's like... it's a... He's going he's gonna to get, like, a big coconut. They're going to go on a, 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 a an exotic vacation for a class trip, get hit on the head with a coconut, and forget. Mark my words. Well, I know. And then some of the issues, like this one, had a. Did you see that? Um, there's a preview. There was a preview for uh, Strange Acad- Academy. <clears throat> yeah. Basically. Not uh, it. Hashtag not interested. <laughs> me neither. But I was like, are they trying to get the Harry Potter people? Of course they are. Man, her, hey, us Harry Potter fans go hard, homie. Like we go hard. <laughs> we do. There's Good my... fandom to get in, into your corner if you can get it. There's I'm telling part. you that Batman movie. People are going to show up for... You, you might not like him in Twilight, but if you don't like Cedric... Oh, there's something wrong with you. Just saying. Oh, Lord. Oh, hey, did you pick this up last week? Uh, Mortal Hulk, Great Power? No, should I? It was actually decent. I mean, it's just a one-shot. I thought, yo, it's going to be gimmicky and then they're doing Spider-Hulk again, but it was actually decent. Huh. I didn't, I didn't mind Spider-Hulk, by the way. <laughs> I didn't oh, mind no, no, it no, no. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to cover that someday. Yeah, yeah, that was a, but I was just like, they're doing it again. But I mean, Fantastic Four's in it. Loki pops up in this. Uh, it's decent. Does it feel like a cash grab? Because it sounds like a cash grab. <laughs> That's what I thought it was going to be. But I mean, I, like I said, I enjoyed it. Okay. I, I, wasn't I might compl- check it out. I wasn't completely like, oh, it's such a cash grab. So I mean, yeah, I, I think it's worth a read. I'm just saying, I walked past it and there was a huge, like, usually in my comic book store, because it's one of the better comic book stores, so it's a lot of people there. Mm-hmm. It was still a lot of copies of that, so I was just like, eh. It was de- <laughs> It was decent, I'll say that. And they, they revealed at the end, like, you know, because the whole Mephisto mind wipe, you know, most people don't remember he's Spider-Man. Like, Bruce Banner yeah. didn't remember he's Spider-Man, but Immortal Hulk well, remembers he's Peter Parker. Did. Immortal Hulk remembers. Always those loopholes. <laughs> Yes. Oh, and then Charlie and I talked this last week on Super Connectivity, Tree Red Black Cat, number nine. Yes. Like, seriously, people, if this book gets canceled, I'm going to find every last one of you who didn't read this book and hurt you. <laughs> it's so good. You should, like, like, seriously, it's funny, but sometimes it can be sad, but most of the time it's funny and fun, and it's just, like, everything you kind of want for a female, you know, mm-hmm. anti-hero. I mean, she's like the best Catwoman. Fight me. I was gonna say more than ever. I think she's like Catwoman. Yeah. Pay attention, DC. Wake up. Look alive. I mean, DC's Catwoman stuff isn't bad right now either. So, but it isn't bad, but it could be better. Like the fact that I like her when she's with Bruce more now speaks volumes because I hate that relationship. I know it's treasonous, but I, I'm really not a big Bat Cat fan uh, as of late. Well, I think, oh, I think, uh, I think part of the problem too is like, I don't know if the, if they're making them, all the writers spin their wheels where it's like, oh yeah, Tom King's Batman Catwoman series is coming out. It's coming out. But we already have them doing their thing, being relatable and lovable in the saviors of Gotham, you know, and the Batman book. What can you do with the Batman Catwoman book that they're not doing in that book? That's all I'm saying. Oh my lord, I know this is a Spider Man podcast, but did you read the, uh, Alfred, uh, special today the r.i.p yeah i like i liked it it was okay yeah it, it wasn't what i expected so i, I was grateful <laughs> but i mean black cat was good and i think for the most part charlie liked it but he was like oh what wolverine just happens to show up at the right time and he, you know he's talking about it's the whole... a comic book of course <laughs> and he was talking about the whole patch thing i was like well patch is like his clark kent you know now that you know mutants are all high profile and stuff yeah thank you Thank you for that. Like, I don't know. I, if we ever have an X Men podcast, I'll tell you how I really feel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh really we'll get this on Max Men one day. <laughs> comic capers. But... Yeah, comic capers somewhere. It's somewhere. Yeah. We, that's all we do is talk comics. It's fine. All right. Let's get to today's comics. It's a pre- Hey, it was a pretty good week for Marvel. Oh, yeah. Amazing Spider Man. I buy more than four Marvel books. It's a really good week for Marvel. <laughs> it is. 
Amazing Spider-Man 39 or 840 for you uh, legacy Nerds. <gasps> How dare you. <laughs> like us. Like us. <laughs> Fight me, nerd. But, oh, are they, are they just writing for us now? <laughs> Podcast. He's a podcaster, baby! <laughs> Spider-Man goes on J. Jonah Jameson's podcast. Oh, God, that had to get all... If he put it on the... Whatever the version of YouTube is, that had to get all the hits. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, most of this is just, like... I mean, it was good, but just, like, Peter and Jonah going back and forth about it, you know, for years. Oh, it's your... <laughs> you were mean to me. And, <laughs> and I thought Jonah's like, You're, are you really that blameless? And we just get, like, that that montage page. It's just, like, you know, Jonah being webbed to his chair and <laughs> or the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I, I liked it. Mm-hmm. I, I really enjoyed the artwork. Like, like you said, those flash pages are amazing. Yeah. So, so bright and so colorful and really energetic. Like, I, we need more of that. Like, I felt like a lot of the artwork, like a couple of months ago, was like getting kind of stagnant. Like, not a, like very stationary. Mm-hmm. Like, literally static. And they've picked up the pace now, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Cause it's it's a Spider Man book, like that's what you said, acrobatics and flipping all around, and they hadn't been doing that for a couple of issues, and I got a little worried. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. oh my lord! And then Chance, <laughs> that's a character insert. That's a self insert somewhere. <laughs> hey, well, we haven't seen crazy. We haven't, Boom. Seen, we haven't seen Chance for a long time. Probably like five hundred. Somebody issues. got their shekel. <laughs> I'm trying to remember when he first showed up in Spider Man. What? Wasn't McFarlane? Was? <laughs> Are they friends? I wouldn't. <laughs> he's friends with a lot of people. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I heard you needed a shekel. <laughs> uh, oh my lord! You know what I thought we should? <laughs> would it be stupid Saturday? We should do a live read of this. <gasps> yes, let's do it. I'll take Spider Man. You could be Nora Winters, and you know who has to be J. Jonah Jameson, right? Because he is J. Jonah Jameson. That, that menace. <gasps> I wonder if just for that episode, if he would shave his mustache. <laughs> Make it smaller. Don't mess with perfection, fellow. Don't don't ask too much for him. Oh, my Lord. Can you imagine just Charlie Esser doing his best J. Jonah Jameson? And another thing. It will be glorious. And another thing. The webs all over the city. Who's paying for that cleanup? That's right. <laughs> but who asked for the Overdrive backup story? Somebody probably wrote in somewhere. Although you know what I think it is. In that last panel, you see those green boots? Yeah. Remember uh, Sin Eater got brought back? I wonder if Sin Eater is going to be like our new Scourge, just like taking out bad, you know, like Z-list Spider-Man villains. Oh, that'll be fun. Because we have a billion. Because cool. it's Spider-Man. Let's clean them up. And if you're not an Osborne or an Otto Octavius or a Doc Connors, you know, you're not, you're pretty much trash. It's just like when Scourge was running around, you know, you're going to get the shocker going, Spider-Man, save me. Don't let him kill me. <laughs> shocker. Where's the shocker been at? Flipping burgers? All right. All right, we're going along. So last one, Symbiote Spider-Man, number three, Alien Reality. Still having fun with this book, but um, how many more issues do we have of this? My wallet is screaming. <laughs> it can't be more than four or five, can it? I'm thinking five. That's, yeah, for some reason that's sticking in my head, but I, I don't know if that's just because that's, that seems to be their thing anymore. Uh, let me look this up. It's absolutely yeah, hilarious. Like, I like the fun of this book. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of tongue in cheek. It's very fanboy fan service, and I love it. <laughs> yes, but it is five issues, so two more. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Like I used to not be like a fan of like you know mini series and stuff, but like honestly, the way that modern comics is, where it's just event after event, I'm more here for the, the short runs than I am anything else nowadays. Yeah. Continuity, don't care. Is it fun? Is it cool? Does it look good? I'm in. Uh, but we get Morbius in this issue. Uh, I wonder why. Supposedly that movie's getting... I still don't believe it. Supposedly. I still don't believe end it. End of July, isn't it? That's supposed to be out of end of July. I know. I'm just like, I I haven't seen set footage. I haven't seen anything. I don't believe it. It's a it's an April. They're going to come out on April 1st. Ha ha. It's a joke. Because we're Sony. <laughs> 
Well, stay tuned for Ultimate Spider Cast in August, people, for all your Morbius needs. You know, I like Morbius, so I'm here for it. Especially if we can work in a Black Cat issue. Hey, oh. <laughs> so, I don't know if I buy the whole thing with Doctor Strange. It's just like, he knows the symbiote's like driving Spider-Man around, and he's like, I will keep your secret, you know. Until further notice. Until I need something. But then watch, no one will remember this reality or something, you know. Of course. But the symbiote will remember the magic or something. Oh, Lord. Are we going to get symbiotes with using magic soon? Oh, my Ew! Why would you put that into the universe? Because I swear that's I see. I swear that's what Peter David's going for. It's like, oh, no one's going to remember, but the symbiote's going to remember how to use this defensive magic and stuff. Well, they do need to differentiate themselves, but but you I know, love, as long as it happens somewhere where I don't have to read it, I'm fine. But I love <laughs> I love how like this new reality, everything's different. Like you know, Black Widow is Black Cat now, and. Doctor Strange is like a homeless guy, not Sorcerer Supreme, but Otto still Otto wearing that green, that green uh, leotard and Robin Banks. Some things have to be a universal constant, Philip. Okay, <laughs> like that is like one of those universal constants. I'm sorry. <laughs> Otto's got an Otto, <laughs> but he, but he, but he, but Spider Man beats up through trickery. Charlie Esser he uses magic. <laughs> Illusion. Shameless. Just shameless, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But then they uh, storm the Sanctum Sanctorum and Baron Mordo's the Sorcerer Supreme. I thought Hobgoblin... Good job if you can get it, I guess. I thought Hobgoblin was, but I guess he was just working for Mordo. But then Doctor Strange teleports him and himself and Spider-Man away because Red Cat was in on it. <laughs> Up is down, left is right, and my brain hurts. She's still a dirty Russian. <laughs> I just like that, you know, they made Doctor Strange homeless because y'all know how I feel about his arrogant butt. <laughs> just like, yeah, knock him down a peg. No, I ain't got no change for you, homie. <laughs> Fight me, nerd. On the streets learning it. Where's that medical degree now? I'm just saying. Is a medical he was term. he was drunk driving Dong in the original. He got what he deserved. He was texting and driving in the updated version. He got what he deserved. <laughs> yeah, all these people in their many car accidents. None that were my fault. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, hey, the fifth one wasn't my fault. <laughs> kind of hard to be the one when you're driving. <laughs> Little Ted wasn't even at windshield level. Come on, people. <laughs> Yeah, that's how you stay safe. <laughs> gobble, gobble. <laughs> Philip, this is a family show. <laughs> this is a Deadpool. Safety. This is that filthy show Deadpool. Safety <laughs> <Wade's> first. <wrong. laughs> no, that's tomorrow. <laughs> On that note. If you'd like to hear more Low Hellfire traffic safety tips, join us tomorrow for Wade's World. Anyway, so yes, yeah, we get out of here. We're over an hour already. Yes. All Let's right. do it. So, everyone. On that note. Yes, join us here next week, next episode. Me and the boys are going to be talking some Scarlet Spider. We're going to be talking the origins, like his first appearance in Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man The Lost Years number zero. Hey, but feel free to use I Love Ben Riley for your opening. Feel oh, free. every Scarlet Spider episode. <laughs> you know. Me and the boys. It's fine having a sausage fest. Thank you. It's fine. I know. All right. So send your thought, and then so yes, send your thoughts on Scarlet Spider, and then in March, uh, we're going to be covering what is that? Amazing Spider-Man Annual Twenty, the Iron Man Twenty Twenty One. So send your thoughts on that. Then we're going to get to uh, that one. Get the Fire Lord issues, Amazing Two Sixty Nine and Two Seventy. Hey, look, I gave you Amazing Spider-Man Two Sixty Nine. I know. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, anyways, oh. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode of uh, Nightwing News. Lilith's going to probably be on because Nightwing 69. <laughs> Poor Kristen. <laughs> it's not Hot take incoming. <laughs> Phrasing. Anyway, send your thoughts to me and this uh, 12 year old over here. Uh, email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com. Call the voicemail, 614 382 2737. That's 614 38 capes. And you could find all of our links to all of our social media, Ultimate 
Spider Ultimate Spider Cast, uh, the aforementioned uh, Dirty Dirty Wade's World, um, Quantum Zone. What about our Quasar podcast, the Quantum Zone? That's right. You can find all of that and more all in one place. That's Linktree, L I N K T R dot E E slash Capes and Lunatics. And remember to support the sponsors Tweaked Audio, Hunt a Killer, Pod Life the Book, now in digital and paperback, which. Mr. Tyler Patrick just received for his birthday today. I see. He's such a good friend. I know. I don't know who. I don't know if it. I don't know. I don't know if Mr. Oh, Mayor wasn't was. you? No, wasn't me. No. But I was. He, <laughs> no, he just sent me the picture. He goes, "Look what I got for my birthday," and it was Pod Life the book, and I was like, "Oh, the book you're mentioning." Oh, cool. So yes, yeah, so pick all that up and buy it on Amazon. And when you do, use the link in the show notes for uh, Southgate Media Group. To again send money to the company to bring you such fine products as the Ultimate Spider Cast. <sighs> All right, Miss Lilith Hellfire, where can people get a hold of you? Um, if you notice, felt offended by anything that I've said, suck it. But um, if you want to take it up with me on the, <laughs> on the interwebs, you can find me on Twitter at Lilith Hellfire and on Instagram at Lilith Hellfire sixty nine. Out of the gooch. <laughs> Uh, that's my new drop. That's gonna be my new drop. <laughs> if you were offended, suck it. <laughs> Scream it! Oh my lord! I don't know what we were drinking today, people. But thank you for joining us again. Miles Morales, new issues. Join us next time for Scarlet Spider, the beginning of the journey. We're covering all the '90s stuff, later stuff. It's once a month, so it'll take, it might take us a few years. But till all that, swing on back. Just put more money in Bendis' pocket.